Hello, videomaniacs of all shapes, sizes, and colors. This is Practice Dummy. In this video, I'm going to show you on how to install graphics mods for the original Tomb Raider for PC. That's Tomb Raider 1. For the GOG version of the game. I already have a video up for the Steam version of Tomb Raider 1, but this video is for the GOG version of Tomb Raider 1. And I've installed the standalone version of Tomb Raider 1 on GOG. Uh, GOG also has an install for the first three Tomb Raiders. But this video will uh, be covering the one that uh, is a solo install, where it, uh, the only thing that's installed is Tomb Raider 1. Okay, um, the link will be in the description below for uh, the mods, so go ahead and click on that. And it should take you to this page right here. Uh, the first thing we're going to do is go here to the tombati.exe link right here. And I'm going to open that link in a new tab. And then go ahead and click Save to where you want to save that to. Then there are two more links we're going to click on. Uh, the higher quality FMV files for Tomb ATI. Go ahead and either click or open a new tab and open the link and then the HD textures for Tomb ATI and then save that to wherever okay and um, go ahead and have those all in, um, downloaded and I'm assuming you already installed uh, Tomb Raider 1 uh, the GOG version of that so uh, go to wherever you uh, downloaded the uh, those files at and in my case would be here now the first thing you want to install is the tomb ATI so I want to double click on that click run and then on the destination folder you want to go to where you installed uh, Tomb Raider 1 the GOG version so you want to click browse and in the normal case, it'll be in your C drive, GOG Games, and Tomb Raider 1. And you want to highlight Tomb Raider 1, and that's where you want to install that at. And go ahead and click Install. And on the C++ Redistribble, go ahead and click I Agree and Install. If you've got Windows 10 or Windows 11, this is already installed, so it's just going to have you close out of that. Okay, now you should see um, install from GOG and ready to import. So you click install. And that's all you have to do. Go ahead and click done. And then you'll get three icons on here. And you won't need to do anything with those yet. Okay, the next thing we want to do is go ahead and click on HD textures. Now, I uh, want to browse, but this is going to be a little bit different on where you, you put the location at for that. Whoops, go down to GOG Games again. Uh, we're going back to the Tomb Raider 1 folder. However, we want to open that up, and we want to stick this where it says Tomb ATI, and highlight Tomb ATI, click OK, and go ahead and extract there. All right, and now for the final file, Tomb ATI HQ FMVs. Go ahead and click on those. And you see the path is already laid out here is the, the last path you had. So go ahead and just click Extract there. And that's all there is to it on that. Okay, um, open up Tomb ATI Config. And then you choose the texture pack, and it should show TR1 HD, and Tomb Raider 1 is selected. Now, if you want to play the Tomb Raider Unfinished Business, you have to open up the Tomb ATI config and select Unfinished Business. And then go ahead and click uh, Done once you selected what you want to select on there. And all that's left to do is to uh, open up and play the game. And I did not add 
the uh, oh wait yes my apologies <laughs> I was looking for the steam shortcut that I did not create but go ahead and click on tomb ATI and you'll start up the game I'm gonna skip through that first part there but here's the uh, FMVs um, it looks uh, as good as you can get on there and it's less pixelated than the original game We'll skip this other cutscene here and we'll show you a little bit of the game. Skip that cutscene. And here you go Tomb Raider 1 uh, with graphics mods. And that is pretty much it. And if you look at the detail in the book here, it looks, you know, better. Let me go ahead and escape out of that a second. And then real briefly opens up and yeah, it looks like it's got some details there. And that's all there is to it for the uh, GOG version of Tomb Raider 1 getting some graphics mods installed on there. So I hope that helps you to relive an old classic and add some uh, improved enjoyment for the game. All right, all of you take care. God bless you one and all.